talking, I'll be honest, it's miserable. Now, although, yes, I'm eating pastries from Costco, that's not the point. The fact is, forcing myself to keep eating, I just don't want to keep eating sometimes. But I'm going to eat the pastries, I'll weigh myself as usual, because I don't weigh myself any other time, but for this video. But I'm not a YouTuber, man. I'm not really sure if this live starts for me. But there's like two people that watch me. 60. Oh, shit. I think that's the heaviest I've ever weighed. Now, yes, once again, water weight comes into play. I have a lot of food in my stomach. I haven't taken a dump yet today. But what else? My muscles are bigger. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually gassed. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna see me 70, then 75. The shit, 75, look at eight. this as quick and as short as possible this is pretty much going to explain in really quick terms why consistency is so important whether you're trying to gain weight or lose weight in terms of diet so let's say for instance your target is 3,000 calories it's not too high it's not too low you'll be in a surplus that means each week your goal is going to be 21,000 calories so let's say you don't hit that goal every single day for instance monday you hit your goal 3,000 calories okay tuesday 2,700 calories. You're thinking at this point, oh, it's only 300 calories. It doesn't really matter. Wednesday, 2,500 calories. So at this point, you've dropped down uh, quite a fair bit. But in terms of calories, you think, ah, oh, it's not that far from 3,000. It's fine. Thursday comes, you're like, okay, yesterday I had a little less. 3,100 calories. Friday, 2,700 again. Saturday, 3,000. You hit it. Sunday, 2,500 again. So now your total within the whole week is going to be 19,500 calories, which is not too bad. So instead of hitting 21,000 calories, you've hit 19,500. So that's 1,500 calories difference. You basically skipped half a day of just 
not eating. I'm missing 1,500. It's not going to be detrimental, but it is going to have a slight impact. Now, I feel like most skinny guys trying to bulk up, they're going to be missing a lot more than 1,500 a week if their goal was 2,000 or whatever it is. And also, same in the other direction. If you're trying to like cut weight and your goal is 2,300, but then you keep overeating by a few hundred on some days, or one day you just go like 700 above, and after the week's done, you're going to have eaten a whole, maybe a full day of calories extra on top of what you're meant to be eating. And that's why you can't cut weight. This is why you need to be consistent or like me, I don't really care. And I have a range that I try to eat between because I know even if I eat within this range, I'm still in a surplus. It may, may not be as big of a surplus as I would like, but for me and my goals, I'm comfortable with that. You just have to decide for yourself whether that's something you're willing to do, or if you want to hit your goals that badly, then you have to be consistent. And every day, have you hit your goals? If you haven't, go and eat. What are you going to bed for? Go downstairs, go to the kitchen, make an extra meal, eat, and then sleep. Although sleep is important, you should be sleeping.